In today's lesson, we are going to learn how to make a dilation. You will need uh, some computer paper and you actually need some graph paper, scissors, uh, pencil, colored pencils, and maybe a marker. We're going to start by drawing an image of your choice on graph paper. You can draw it whatever you want as long as all of your lines are measurable. Um, you can do some diagonals and you can even do some circles and some unique shapes as long as you can measure all of your side lengths. To make it easier on myself, I just did horizontal and vertical lines, but you can get more creative with yours. And notice how I labeled all of my side lengths. Um, you'll cut those off of your image, but you definitely want to keep track of the length of all of your side lengths. So write them down as you are creating your image. Next, you want to pick a scale factor in which you will multiply all side lengths by that scale factor. For my image, I started with a large image, and then I have a scale factor less than one, so I'm going to, uh, my dilations will be actually shrinking my image. If you want, you can start with a very small image, have a, dial a scale factor greater than one, and you can then make um, an image larger. Um, that is up to you. And then whatever scale factor you choose, multiply all side lengths by that scale factor, and you're going to draw another image, recreate your image. You're going to do that one more time, so you're going to multiply that second image by your scale factor to make a third image. And do it one more time, multiply the third image using your scale factor to get a fourth image. So you will have um, the image that you've created, you will have four versions of it to make your complete dilation. You will then cut out all four versions of your image and you can start playing around with how you want to uh, place them, how you want to trace them. You can overlap them um, in different areas. You can kind of extend them next to each other. So just kind of play around with how you want to place all four images and then you can trace them to make your dilation image. So I trace my first one, and then my second one. Here's my third one, and fourth one. And then, tracing over it with marker, I added just a few more details, and make sure these details are consistent in each one of your dilations. And then finish up your dilation image by coloring it and making it look fabulous. And now here are just a few more examples to kind of help you get some ideas on what you want to do for your dilation image.